Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm the Crane Meister. Today we're going to be taking a look at and reviewing the Kuwat NV 2.0 base. This is the 2 inch receiver version, 2 bike model with the option for a 2 bike add on to make it a 4 bike uh, rack. Here's what it comes with it comes with a little bag comes with a fat tire kit which includes a rear tire strap to extend the length of this strap here a front tire velcro strap to hold down the front wheel a locking hitch pin I put that rubber on doesn't come with that comes with a 8 millimeter allen key to adjust the height of the cradles right here and three sets of keys and a bottle opener the other key is on my keychain so now I'll show you how to install the bike rack. You want to slide the rack into the receiver and line up the two holes. The hole in the rack and the hole in the receiver, which is right there. Then, if you want to lock it, you should put your pin through, put the lock on the other side, and it's locked. That's locked, but it's not secure. So you have to spin this knob here. As you spin this, it tightens up within the receiver. So now you'll see this rack is not going anywhere. The whole car is moving when I move the rack. So to load up the bikes, we'll unfold it. And it'll sit like that. Now, you show you, now I'll show you how to put the bikes on the rack. So this is how I load my fat bike. I've always put my fat bike on the inner tray. I've already got the front tire uh, cradle in the lowest position to give me more room to get the wheel in. I slide the rear tire strap forward so it doesn't get in the way. Just like this. Front wheel in there. That's in. Pull this up to the fork. Push down, front tire's in. Now for the rear, I've got to add this strap on. Kind of a pain. It'd be nice if they just made the strap a little bit longer. If this strap were a little longer, I wouldn't need to add this on, but it doesn't reach, so you need to. Pull it back like this. See, it's, it's just short. Maybe with a four inch tire, you wouldn't need to add this on, but with the four and a half, you need the extra couple inches. That goes on like that. And the bike is on. It's really solid too. It doesn't really move. And for extra security, they give you this Velcro strap, which you can put right here. I never use it. Maybe I'm being AM gambling, I don't know. It seems fine without it. So there you have it. A fat bike and a road bike on the Kua MV 2.0 base. They're not touching each other anywhere. They're on their solid. The only thing left to do is lock them up. There's a lock on each side of the rack. So you've got that one, and you've got that one. Now I wish they were a couple inches longer because it's very difficult to get both wheels and the frames in. So I found the best way of locking the bikes up is just to lock all four wheels when you've got two bikes. I guess someone could steal my frames if they really wanted to, but it'd kind of be a lot of work. Feed this through here. Keep this piece back. Put that in there. The locks could definitely be a little easier to use. I struggle with them. It should just be a click in place, but usually you gotta put the key in and give it a little twist. Okay, so that one's locked. The rear wheel, the road bike, 
front wheel and mountain bikes. They're locked to the rack. And here I can do the same thing. Go there. See some, sometimes it just snaps right in like that. So, got both wheels locked here, both wheels locked there. Like I said, someone could steal my frames. Uh, if I were going on a really long trip and planning on leaving it on for a long time, I would try to connect this cable and that cable. It can be done. Uh, it's really, really tight though. The cables, if they're just a couple inches longer, it'd be beautiful. So I can also get into my trunk right now if I wanted to. I could just fold the rack down using a lever right here. It'll stop automatically. My trunk will open. Let's push it up. All you gotta do is pull it up. Stay there. Now I'll unload the bikes and show you what it looks like when it's not in use. Okay, to fold it up against the car, we use that lever again. This one here, I pull it back, and I push forward. My hitch comes about flush with the rear bumper, and there's a good amount of room here. You don't have to worry about it hitting the car or anything. Just just happens to work on my particular car, but if your hitch is low enough, then you can open up your trunk, and it just clears. So I know some of the other ones, like the Thule rack, has a handle right here to fold this down, so it's quick and easy to get in and out. But on my car, I don't even need to. I don't need to lower the rack. So that's one of the great positives of this rack. Some other things I like about it are the looks. I think it looks amazing on the back of this car. The matte black matches with the bumpers really well, and with the white, it looks cool. Uh, I like how secure it is on the car. It's super solid. It doesn't wiggle. I've driven hundreds of miles with my fat bike on the back, which is a pretty big bike. A lot of wind resistance. It doesn't move at all. I like the locks. I wish they were a little longer. I wish these straps were a little longer. Um, the rack does go for 550, which is expensive, but all the platform racks with full locking features are this much money. Uh, I like that it fits the four and a half tires without having to buy any special cradles. Um, I like how easy it is to install. Just put the lock through here, tighten this knob, and that's it. If you have any questions or comments on the rack, please comment below. Thanks for watching. Please check out some of my mountain bike videos if you have any interest. And I'll see you next time.